um, before I give this out, I wrestled with this for some time because I've never given a message like this before to the body of Christ. That's why it was kind of hard for me to be able to do this. But I know there's changes coming. I told the pastor when we was praying in my home, and he definitely told me there was changes coming to the church, and it's going to be good changes. So we got to expect God to do things. That's our responsibility to do our part, too. I had to write it down because I know I wouldn't remember it. But when he gave this to me, it was on a Thursday, and there was two people in my home that was a witness to it, and they only got a portion of what this was, that the Lord had given it to them when we was talking about the things of the Lord. Like I said, this is a little, little difficult. But this is for a special group of people that are in the church. It's not, and it could be for everybody, but this is what he said. A message for the elders. The message for the elders. Please do not take this lightly. My glasses, I forgot my glasses today. So the message for the elders of the church, he said, seek me. First, step up and take responsibilities. Take the burden off on the pastor. I have felt this for a long time. There's been too much of a burden on my pastor here, who I love and dearly loved. You have no idea. The man you've got before you is I do. Because I've been under a lot of pastors and they have not treated me well. But this man right here has treated me better than any other pastor I have ever been under in my life. And I went to a lot of churches. God has sent me to a lot of churches in my lifetime. Never have I been treated as well as I have by him. And that's why I'm here. As God has put me here for a reason and for a season. And I am obedient to God when he tells me. Because I'll tell you, I have a fear not to. I have a fear of God when I do not obey him. Things don't go good and don't go well. But this is very important to the elders of this church. That you've got to step up and take responsibility to relieve the burden from this man. There's too much of a burden put onto one man in this church. And I know it's strong. It's been hard for me to do this. As I said, I'll be obedient to God. I'll do whatever he tells me to do, and I always have. But it's never been easy, and especially in the dealing with what I'm dealing at home. But my husband is doing well. He would have been here with me today, but he got his cough and spell, and it was hard for more and more. But I'm hoping to bring him here at the church as he wants to be yes, here. Yes, we'll be the <laughs> so much because he loves every one of you that have stretched out your hand to my husband and he just really felt bad because he couldn't come but he said I had to come here to give and that's why I'm here so take heed elders I don't know who you are whoever God has called an elder of this church it's a great responsibility whether you believe me or not you better pray about it and ask God. Because if you don't, I hate to think what's going to take place. Because God is going to do what he said he's going to do with you or without you. And that's the main thing. That God, what he says, there's a change coming. And it's going to be good. You better be awake and step into it and be part of it. This is true. Kirby, I thank you for that work. <laughs> 